morning. Thanks, Chris. Well, I'm continuing to monitor a disturbance in the eastern Pacific that has an 80% chance of strengthening into a tropical cyclone in the next five days. It's not going to be impacting us here in the islands. This is going to be bringing, it looks like, widespread heavy rainfall to Mexico and portions of Central America. So I'll continue to track it, but it is a good reminder that we are just about to be heading into hurricane season. Just a few days away, starting on June 1st, so it's a good reminder to have your hurricane kits ready and always be prepared. Now, the system forecast to potentially strengthen just before the weekend and continue to impact Mexico and Central America into Saturday and Sunday. What we're going to be seeing here back at home, pretty nice day. Typical trade wind weather expected. Our trades are stronger today with that high building stronger to the north of the state and trades blowing up to about 20 miles an hour. So we're looking at typical trade wind weather, but it's a little different just Thanks to the fact that we have an upper level low near the state, that cutoff low still delivering us some high clouds. The cirrus clouds led to really beautiful sunrises and sunsets the last couple of days. And although they've definitely thinned out, we're seeing a lot less today. They're still prevalent, so expect nice conditions in the evening hours once again this evening. But again, in terms of rainfall, you can see the radar very inactive. Aside from a few light passing windward Malka showers, it's really dry across the board. And in your future cast, it looks like the future satellite and radar showing pretty similar conditions through the weekend and into early next week with trade winds and sunshine continuing with us.